Hey guys and welcome back to another video of our Let's Play on Terraria. Today what we're doing is we are going to be trying to do something I'm not really sure what we're going to do. The reason why I'm saying this is because we've got way too many things to do and I don't know where to start off with. Now in the last one we did is we finally defeated the Wall of Flesh and we have hard mode now. We're in the hard mode. Um, I'm terrified because everything has gone from pretty much really good to horrible at the same time. And the reason why is because as you know from the last video that we've got this underneath our house which is the biggest problem. And then we've also got this over here, which is rapidly spreading. So that's a problem. And yeah, that's kind of what we're trying to deal with right now. Now, we've got lots of things we need to do, and a lot of things that need to be done now. Um, I've got some ideas of what to do, so let's hope we get them done. Now, what the idea is, is that we're going to get a thing called the Clentaminator, I think it's called. Which is basically a gun that destroys biomes. So what I do is I buy it use it, and then it destroys this entire biome here, so it gets rid of all the, the hollow underground. And then, what I'll do, is I'll take the hollow and put it over here. So I want this area to be the hollow, and then this area to be the whole corruption. I don't mind the corruption being on this side. And then the hollow can go here, then it gets divided there so it can't spread, and then my area remains clean. <laughs> because this is literally the worst place it could have possibly gone. Um, but in order to do that, I need to get a steampunk person to sell me it. I then need to get two platinum coins to buy it, and the only way to do that is by defeating a mechanical boss, which is what the plan is for today. It's most likely not going to happen because I know they're very tough, but we can have a go. Um, we're also going to speak to the truffle, which is down here, I believe. Uh, better be down there, because we got him last video. We finally turned up, and out there he is. I thought he wasn't there yet. Sir, I need to talk to you. Actually, I might need some gold. Um, you haven't seen any pigs around here, have you? My brother lost his leg to one. Oh dear. Um, let's have a look. Yes, we've got Dark Blue Solution. This stuff, what it does is it's used by the contaminator, spreads glowing mushrooms. I don't need to use that, but it's there. Why are you not selling anything else? I swear you sell more stuff. Uh, strange glowing mushroom. Someone's very truffle. And a mushroom cap is two gold. I want to get that. So, that's mainly what I wanted him for. I just, wanted, I just want to get that thing. So, as I just said, I want to collect gold coins, and I'm already just wasting them, but that's fine. I've got 26 here, over, over time, that we've gathered up. And... Out of video, I'm probably going to do a lot of work, basically going down to the dungeons and killing things. I don't know if I'll um, do it straight out of video immediately, though, only because it's um, going to be more dangerous, obviously, and I don't want to like do it out of video and you guys not see it, so I will show you it. But we need to collect a load of money for that thing. But yeah, what the plan is for now is that we're going to go to the underground corruption and get some souls of night. Um, to do that, wait... I'm probably going to die as well, because there's a very difficult enemies down there. There is a method that I want to do, which creates a farm underground, so that you can get loads of souls really easily. But unfortunately, I'm not bothered to do that yet, <laughs> because that means I have to be a little bit more prepared. So we just need to kill a few enemies down there. Hopefully we can. Might be able to, we'll see. But I have a feeling we're probably going to die. I don't actually remember how difficult the underground corruption is, mainly because I haven't had an underground corruption in any of my worlds in quite a long time. Because in my main world, I don't have corruption at all. Because I got rid of it all with that contaminator thing. I don't really. I, n I never wanted it. I've just got the hollow in my world. I used to have corruption, but then I got rid of it, so that's the idea. And here we are. So, while we just make our way here, I'm going to put my cap on because I want to. There we go. Amazing. Now, I need to recolor it, actually. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, this is where the meteorite struck. Oh, this would be perfect. This could be perfect, actually. Okay. The method that I was saying to get the Dark Souls, I keep calling them Dark Souls, I need to stop doing that. Um, yeah, what the idea is, is that you gather this stuff, and then you put it underground, and because these enemies are really easy to kill, you just keep killing them, and then it gets you loads and loads of souls, without having to kill difficult enemies. That's what the idea is. Um, the reason why I said I wasn't going to actually do it, is because I left them back at the house, and I couldn't bother to get this stuff again. But the thing is, it's right here. It's really good. That's the only thing these little guys are useful for. Other than that, they're kind of pointless. Yeah, I need to collect enough of it so that um, it can actually spawn these guys in. I mean, it shouldn't be that much because last time we did this, it was a pain trying to get them to not spawn. So, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. But this area is basically a mess. Um, I'm so glad I tied up this. I, I cleaned this entire world. Like, I made it all nice and level. I made it all perfect so that you could run across it. And now this happens. Meteorites land. Corruption takes over. So that's why I want to get rid of it as soon as possible. But it's going to take a long time still because I need to defeat a mechanical boss. Which is the biggest problem. So I really don't think I'll be able to do it. Most likely not in this episode. Probably not in the next one. Because I need to get some better stuff. Right, I'm going to need to get some better weapons, I assume. 
Um, but I don't know what weapons to go for. I guess I could make, um, like, stuff out of the new, um, what's it called? Stuff out of the new materials, like, whatever I'm going to get. Uh, like the adamantite and cobalt and all that stuff. So that's the idea for that. I don't know if it's actually better than what I've got. We can find out. I really don't know. But yeah. I have not a clue how difficult these things are to defeat because I haven't done it in ages. But the idea is, is that we're going to go after the destroyer, which is a giant metal worm. And the reason why is because I'm pretty sure that's the easiest one. Please don't um, shout at me if I'm wrong, but you can correct me. I'm pretty sure that's the easiest one to take out first. Because it's um, just easy enough to hit. Right, that's definitely enough. We need to head underground. Um, there's actually a mine over there. Let's go. So yeah. It's kind of a difficult time in this world. Because we have to be very, very quick. And unfortunately, because it's night time, we've actually missed our chance to fight the boss. But oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh wait, is that the thing I covered up? Oh no, it's over. But yeah. We need to get everything done really quick. Like, the number one thing we need to worry about is this contaminator thing. Because we desperately need it so that we don't... Uh, so that we actually don't end up killing ourselves from the corruption that's going to invade everywhere eventually. That's what my worry is. So we need to get that done first. But like I said, it probably is going to take a lot longer than that. See, we're getting all these dangerous things now. Where's the actual underground thing? Okay, it's down there. I think this is the mushroom barn where I gathered all the, the, thing, the seeds up for my one. Right, is this the underground um, uh, corruption yet? I don't know if it is, I can't tell by the music yet. Ah, yeah, it is, cool. Right, I'm gonna put this down then. There we go. It actually lights the place up as well, so that's good. Right. I'm gonna put as much of this down as I can. Oh god, that thing nearly hit me. Oh, that can go through the thing. Okay, good. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. You're gonna try and hit me, aren't you? Ah! Ah, fuck. Oh, no. Yeah, this is where the, um, the problem comes. Because that thing's staying down there, isn't it? Ah, that thing's really hurting me. Ah, jeez. Go on, take the thing. I'm trying to take a potion. Oh, great. Take one of these. There we go. Right, I'm going to have to kill that thing because it's not leaving me alone, is it? Oh, there's two of them. Brilliant. Well, that's great. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, this isn't going well. How am I going to get past that then? Oh, hopefully they despawn. I might cut out the journey on the way back there. I hate them things, because they're ridiculously difficult to kill, but they really shouldn't be. And I don't know why. They just really are annoying to kill. So, if it, if it takes too long, I'm probably going to cut the journey out, but we'll see. So, I might see you in a second. What is that? I've just killed all the plants. I should not have done that. Well done me. I'm br brilliant at this. Oh, everything's going wrong now, isn't it? I think I just need to hurry up. Like, everything needs to be done so quickly at the minute. Because otherwise, it's just going to go horribly, horribly wrong. And I don't want it to. So I'm pretty sure progress... Like, progress is going to be pretty slow. But I don't want it to be. And it's really going to annoy me because I just want to get stuff done now. Like, once I get that contaminator thing, I'm not really bothered about how slow we take things. It's just I need to get that thing as soon as possible. Because I have got one in my other world, but I don't want to use it. I want to do it legit. I want to get it myself. I want to spend my own money on it. I don't want to um, cheat my way to the top. Because I don't like doing that. As much as I like doing it in Grand Theft Auto, I don't like doing it here. So, yeah. That's, my, that's, what, that's what the problem is. Now, here we go again. I don't know if we need to actually go that deep. Because unlike the hollow, which we've got um, under my house, it counts it all as a snow biome. But here it doesn't, which is good. So we don't need to worry too much about it. Right, yeah. These things are annoying. Right, this isn't the underground bit yet, is it? Okay, it is. Right, these things gone yet. They better be. Right, I need to create loads more of this stuff. I don't know how much you actually need of this stuff. I only need a decent amount. I just need to put a lot here. Here we go. Are they coming yet? I don't know over a hundred of it here, so that should be enough. Oh, there we go. Cool. This is how it works. So we just need to kill these guys now. Don't seem to be dropping anything, unfortunately. Are these all the enemies coming after me? Oh dear. Hello there. How you doing? 
Are you really not going to drop anything? They better not have changed it so that they have to, like, they have to be corruption enemies. Because I've killed way more than enough now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. I think by the time we've done this, it'll be like, oh, we've got a goodie bag. By the time we've done this, the night, the night time will be over. So that'd be good. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting more of them. Yes, this is the idea, because it's really easy to kill these guys. That's the point. I remember what I did, is I just had my pickaxe like this, killing them. No, I didn't want to do that. Like this. And then it just, like, I just set the tape down my trigger and it just constantly killed them. And I left it for, I left it for like half an hour, so I didn't have to actually play the game. It was great. Ow. Come here, little thing. Come here, there we go. Ow. How many is that? Is that enough? Almost. I'm gonna get one more. I don't actually know how many there are. It's like five or six we need. I can't never remember, so I'd rather have um, I'd rather have too many than not enough. But we need to get a load of these things anyway, so I might one day just do like just stand here for like an hour. Um sell take down my right trigger and just keep killing these things. Just getting loads of souls. So I might as well do that. Shall I zoom out? Oh god, that's not really helping me. Run. There we go, that should be enough now. Right, I'm gonna head back up. Oh there we go, two of them. So what we do is we do that as well in the underground hollow. But because one when, when I'm sort when I've got things sorted, that will be the underground hollow. So we don't have to worry about that too much. But that is gonna spread amazingly, annoying through there. Like, I don't mind if it spreads on this side, because I really do not care, but it's this one I'm worried about. Right, so I believe for the thing we need iron and something else, but I can't remember what it is. We need iron, that oh we need rotten chunks, that was it. Uh rotten chunks, need three more of these. I did check before this start of the video because I wasn't sure what I needed. How do we make this? I don't actually know how we make this thing. Uh, it is made by what? Mr. Guide, please help me. I don't know how to make this thing. Probably should have looked at it. Is it going to be like a demon or something? It sometimes is. It might be, oh, it might be that weird anvil, actually. Please don't be. Please don't be that weird anvil. Um. Oh, it is. Oh, come on. Well, it looks like we're not doing that today. We're going to have to go to the corruption and destroy some demon altars. That is mildly annoying, isn't it? So, yeah. I'm going to have to run along now to the um, normal corruption, which is miles away. So I'm definitely going to cut this bit out. So I'll be with you in one second. Right, I think we're... There we go, we're nearly there. The amount of times I've done this trip in the past. Right. What we need to do now is we need to go... And kill, we need to go and destroy a lot of the. Oh god, what is that? A giant flying fox. Okay, 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 okay. Go away, please. There we go. Right. Yeah, I remember um, that when you destroy these um, things underground, it gives you ore. Like, it gives you the new ores and stuff which we need. But it unfortunately also uh, spreads more of the corruption and more of the uh, hollow. So. It's kind of a big sacrifice we have to make, but there's nothing else we can do without it, so we have to kind of do it. Right, let's head down here. Down we go. I'm probably going to end up, like, regretting this majorly, but oh well. Here's the price we pay, otherwise we're not really going to move anyway, are we? I don't know if we are going to actually defeat that boss. I'm probably going to get it all ready for the next episode, because I think we're probably going to run out of time by that point. Right, what do we get? Cobalt, okay, that one's alright. Um, I think you get Cobalt or Paladinium. Then you get Mithril or Orichalcum, and then you get Titanium or Adamantite. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to get. I've obviously got Cobalt, I've seen. Right, let's go to this side. Yeah, you get these things following you as well when you do that. Right, let's go to this side as much as we can. Okay, that's about it. Go away. Thank you. I can one-shot these guys. That's good. Right. Orichalcum, okay. I prefer Mithril, just to like the look of it, but that's fine. And Adamantite. Okay, that's a good one. I like Adamantite because it's really easy to see and really easy to find. I don't know how many of these I really should destroy. I probably shouldn't destroy any of them, but oh well. Right, let's kill these guys and we'll see how much that spread the, the thing. I'm gonna kill you then, because you're gonna keep coming, aren't you? Right. And there we go. Right, quick, let's have a look. Oh, there you go. You can see it on the map already. Um, yeah, it spreads this major, but I don't know where it's actually spread it to, which is the problem. Does it spread it down there? I'm getting hurt, aren't I? Yep. I shouldn't have done that, I know. Alright, I got an idea. Box myself in. There we go, problem solved. The rafts can the wraith things can still make it. Get me that. Right, has this spread anywhere else? I feel like it probably would have. I think it's probably spread it there, but I can't see anything in there. So the only way I know about that is if it's too late. 
Right, I'm going to destroy some more. Probably a bad idea. But oh well. Oh, hello there. Um, I've come to kill you. How do you feel about that? I'm just going to destroy all of them. At this point, I don't really care. When we get that contaminator thing, it'll be worth it because we can just destroy them anyway. Go and get out the water. I'm just going to keep going. Got some demon out here as well. Is there no more demon orders? Are they all hiding? I think there's one down there because I saw a bright light. There we go, some of them. Let's destroy all of them. Caution to the wind, let's just go. La 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 la. Oh, I can hit these things a lot. Oh, yeah, I always keep forgetting that these things immediately come after you. So I need to not destroy them all at once. With my other character, I normally do destroy them all at once because I'm not really that bothered. <laughs> there we go, at least he's keeping them back. It's working. There we go, I'm killing stuff eventually. Let's get in there. Take a long time, but I will. Right, everyone just die, please. It's really hard to see things, I know. Yeah, now we're going to be overrun by these guys for quite a long time, I bet. Oh, dear. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, another goodie bag. Nice. We'll open them up at the end of the video. What was a chest? Nothing really in there. Go away. Probably should move this hammer closer to my sword when I'm down here. But I'll only ever have to use it for this, and never really again. Um, there we go. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, still got me. There's a bit of ore there, just put it on the floor. I don't think I can mine that yet. I think I need to get cobalt first, and then I need to mine that. And it goes like up in stages. So, I can't mine the, those ones yet. Right, I'm going to destroy these ones, and then we'll probably head back up. There we go. That's another three sets. Go away. Why'd I hit that one to me? How many of these things are there? Actually, no. Oh, dear. No. Get off the map. I don't actually know how many of these things are out. Okay, there's these ones. Okay, we'll destroy these, then we'll go away, because we're nearly done here. Right, let's quickly destroy these, and we'll get out. Go on, let me get out of it. Let me out. What do I want to do? Uh, out. There we go. Right, let's see where that's destroyed my world to. Um, it's put some ore there, so you can see it really easily. Um, it's probably put it in the dark areas, so I don't know where like, I don't know where it's going to spread to. Let's put it somewhere, at least. I don't know that. But you can see it really easily on that. The best place is going along this bottom bit here, look. You see that really dark red bit right in the middle of the screen? Um, that's adamantite. That's how you can tell it's adamantite. Right. Where has it spread this to? It's gonna, it will have spread it, but I don't know where it spread it to. It's probably done it in there, like I keep saying. So far, it doesn't look like it's moved that much. Which is actually a good thing. But, for, not for very long. You can really easily see it there. Right, I'm going to go down my elevator, as I like to call it. And I'm going to try and get some cobalt, if I can find any. Problem with cobalt is it looks like water, so it's really hard to see. Um... And we're in an ice biome, so that doesn't help it either. Okay, that's cobalt there, right at the very bottom. Brilliant. There's a lot of it to the sides. Okay, okay. let's just go, let's just go. Let's just go. Probably gonna get killed. But oh well. So when I see some cobalt... Actually, I might zoom out for this. I don't know if I'll be able to see it or not, but we'll find out. I'm just looking anywhere I can. I'm gonna go down the rope so I can stop when I see one. I did see some at the side that I'll be able to grab. Oh, there we go. Just there. Cool. I thought I should be able to mine this stuff with this one, should I? Yeah, there we go. La, 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 la. Good thing about cobalt is you find it in a lot of, um, like, forms. Like, you find it in a massive clump all the time. Right, there's a big bit of cobalt there, so I'm going to go down to get that. If we go down by the purpley things, which are about here-ish. Is that it? Yeah, if I go out this way... I can see a big lump of cobalt out there. Come on, no. Back up. Hello, ghost. Goodbye. Might actually be able to find the wizard down here. I know you can find wizards when you go mining. Kind of what I need to do. Oh, dear. Hello. Oh, there's some adamantite there. There we go, there's the cobalt. I'm pretty sure I can't mine this stuff yet. Yeah, I need to get the, the other one for that. Hello, Mr. Ghost. How are you doing? I also just noticed the time, so I'm going to gather this. There are these two lumps here, and then I'll head back up. But this should be enough cobalt uh, to be able to mine us some orichalcum, and then we'll make the or orichalcum into the anvil, and then we can finally get some progress done. So yeah, maybe next video we might have 
um, some decent chance at trying to defeat the destroyer. But I don't know, because we're most likely going to die a million times trying to do it. Out of video, I've also decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, three, well, I'm just going to do like tunnel strips where the corruption and the, well, where, mainly just where the corruption is. So what I'm going to do is, um, if any of you played this game, you know exactly what I'm going to do. But basically, I'll let you can see it there. That's where it spread it to. Uh, basically going to do a massive straight tunnel from there all the way down, like to right to the bottom here. Just to like block it off so that, the ho so that they can't spread anymore. Uh, I'm not going to do it to the hollow because the hollow is under my house anyway and it can't really spread that much. Plus it's going to get destroyed at some point in the next few videos anyway, hopefully. But yeah, that's the idea. So before we end the video, I'm just going to open these things. Blunk. Rotten eggs. And tri we got all that. We got that ready. Boring. Right, so we got the cobalt. We're going to smoke that next video. Um, we're going to hopefully get some Orichalcum and then maybe some Adamantite. Probably not the Adamantite because I just need to get the anvil for this. And then we're done pretty much. But yeah, that's it for me. So as for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.